What's up, guys? It's the only Ninja Warring Aviators of Mr. Manhattan bringing you yet another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Now, I uh, gotta be real with you guys right now. I am feeling kind of sick. I've been having a bunch of allergies and stuff lately, so this video is gonna be a bit on the shorter side. Uh, but this is an incredibly important video if you've been following this series, which I encourage you to do, obviously. But definitely sit back, relax, because we got to run that intro. All right, now that the intro is over, we get into the nitty gritty right now. Uh, we have a couple things to talk about, and that is targeting. Targeting is extremely important. Now, there's two um, aspects of targeting. There's the first aspect, which I'm sure you've already thought of, which is where you're going to be hitting on the opponent's body. So that's places like the ink chung right here, the hinge of the jaw, the solar plexus where your diaphragm is. Uh, your joints, where how you can break, you know, certain joints, whether it's the elbow, popping out the shoulder, breaking knees, uh, floating ribs are a good spot as well. All of those are really good target locations where you can take your punch, your kick, or your break, and apply it into that area and be successful with it. Uh, there's plenty of areas like that: the groin, the nose, the eyes, you know, the hair. If you, obviously not my hair, but if you have like longer hair, the hair is good. Uh, fingers, toes, stuff like that. But uh, that is not the uh, point of this video. If you wanted me to go and talk about all of those target locations, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments and I will 100% do that video for you guys. But this video is about where in your body do you hit them with? So like a fist, do you hit them with the whole fist? No, you don't. Only the first two knuckles because a lot of people think, oh yeah, the whole fist. And that usually ends up with people breaking their pinkies. Have you ever seen in movies or something where they throw a haymaker and they have to shake off their hand? Well, they probably just broke their finger because uh, they hit with their pinky. This knuckle will break super easily. This, these two knuckles are the ones you want to hit with. These are the two knuckles that I used to break boards with. Uh, the same can be said for like your feet. You don't want to just throw your foot when you kick, otherwise you'll break your toes, and that's not fun. I've done that before. <laughs> instead, you're gonna want to. Man, I sound terrible. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but instead, you're gonna use the ball of your foot for your front kicks, your heel for your side kicks, or the edge of your, the knife of your foot for your side kicks. Uh, same with your back kick. Your back kick can use that heel. Uh, your rake kick can use your, or not your rake kick, your hook kick can use your heel. The rake kick can use the top of your foot or your shin. Uh, it is important that you focus on those locations when you're training. If you're practicing in your backyard or wherever, and you just throw your techniques out there willy-nilly and don't actually think about what you're hitting with, you're going to get bad habits, and when you actually need to use your techniques, you're going to do it wrong, and you're going to hurt yourself, and then you're going to look at me or whoever else your instructor is and be like, hey, uh, you taught me how to do this. Why didn't it work? Well, we did teach you. You just didn't do it right. <laughs> uh, you have to focus and practice the right way in order for it to be effective in real life. If you don't practice it the right way, it's not going to be effective in real life. And that's just how it is. Uh, but with that said, um, I'm going to sign off of this video because I have a bunch of stuff to do today, whether that's school or other videos for next month. Uh, by the way, be looking forward to next month because next month, next, uh, can't talk. Next month is a big month. So get ready for that, guys. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I'm kind of sick right now. I'm sorry if I like sound awful. Um, leave me a like in the comments so, and a message so that, you know, I can feel better. Uh, with all that said, my, not, my name is DJ Moore. I can't even speak right, guys. Jeez. Whew. My name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.